so hello everyone, my name is Tom Britton and welcome to this course called Mathematics and Statistics of Infectious Disease Outbreaks. Um, so this is just a short introduction to the, to the course plan, let's call it. So my name is Tom Britton, I'm a professor here at Stockholm University. The course is given in English, but I'm Swedish, so if you want to ask some questions uh, on the course homepage uh, in Swedish, that's fine. So it is me who is given this course, uh, and also the other the other professor is Mikael Höhle. I will not present him; he can present himself uh, on the second lecture. Uh, but anyway, he is professor in uh, at this department, although he spends most of the, his time in Germany, where he lives. Uh, and then we have three uh, research assistants. It's Dongni Zhang, who does not speak Swedish. Uh, she will be teaching assistant the whole course, and then we have Oskar Frost, who is teaching assistant uh, during the first part of the course in June, and Martin Nilsson, who is teaching assistant at the second part of the course in August. Uh, so the structure of this course is that we will give 10 lectures, and these will be recorded and put on the course webpage uh, in advance. And uh, it will be a recorded lecture, but you will also be able to find the actual slides from the lecture separately in case you prefer to look at that. Uh, connected to each course, we will also have a live session uh, where you have the opportunity to ask questions in advance and we will try to respond to them and possibly also at the lecture if you have some follow-up questions. Depending on how many that attend these uh, live sessions, it would be more of a dialogue or either that we mainly answer questions post in advance. Uh, and the explanation of the course is, as is written on the course homepage, is that there are two home assignments. One will be common for all, the first one, so you all do more or less the same thing. And the second one is an individual assignment. And in the individual assignment, you will also uh, give feedback on other uh, students' uh, uh, home assignments. But more about that later. Uh, and when you do the home assignments, of course, it's important that you do a good job in solving the problems, but it's uh, also important that you write your report well. And of course, you should not collaborate with other students uh, on this part, uh, and in particular, and you, nor should you copy things from the web and include in the report. Whenever you do this, you must acknowledge the, the reference that you are using. Otherwise, it's plagiarism, which is a serious problem, and you could even get expelled from the course. Sorry about that. And then the other part of the course, beside the home assignments, uh, which are two, it will be one written exam, and the date for that is August 28th. Uh, the course has no specific literature as typically one course book, but we will, during the course, hand out, well, first of all, you have our lecture notes, but we will also refer to some papers during the course, and already now there appear some books that could be useful. They're not compulsory, but they could be useful, and they are freely available using the university library. And there are also currently a couple of scientific papers, uh, one at least on a fairly basic mod, uh, level in Swedish. Uh, so to end up, uh, my background uh, connects very well to this subject. I've been working on the infectious disease modeling and a principle for making statistical inference uh, for infectious diseases uh, my whole academic career, so close to 30 years by now. Uh, and I would say that I know models quite well and also how to theoretically do inference from them. Uh, I also have some practical experience, mainly in uh, HIV, influenza, rotavirus, hepatitis C, and now more, most recently COVID-19. By the way, the course is not specifically devoted to COVID-19, but clearly we will give some examples connecting to, to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and Mikkel will present himself uh, on the first lecture, but I think we complement each other very well because I don't, 
I'm not as experienced as he is in analyzing data sets, nor am I as experienced in handling data or doing programming to model things, simulating things. So things with computer, he's much more experienced than I am, but hopefully I, I know a bit of modeling anyway. Uh, and uh, so the course will have one part in June. I think the last live session is July 2nd. So after that, we have a break until early August. During this break, you can of course read literature and work on the home assignments. Uh, but uh, there will be no lectures during July and then we start with lectures again in August and then you have to turn in both the home assignments the first one I think has deadline August 1st and the second one mid-August and then there is a written exam at the end so don't save all the work till August then you will have problems you should start working on uh, the course already now in June and during the course we will have several exercises you can think of this as preparation for the written exam. So the written exam will be of the style that some of these exercises handed out during the course will be. Okay, thank you very much. This was just an introduction and separately you can uh, now listen to lecture one. Thanks.